Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today we're actually going to be two, comparing two different CPU fans. Um, right now, I have the Cryoreg C7 in here, but I'm actually swapping it out for the Noctua. Uh, what, what's the name? NHL9i, which is just a low-profile Noctua cooler. I'm sure many of you have seen this one before. It actually, comes really nicely packaged. Um, so here is the cooler. Um, basically what I'm going to see is figure out which one is the better performer as far as, you know, cooling down the CPU. Um, I wasn't too impressed with this one, so we're going to see if the Noctua one does any better. And I'm going to do some testing, stuff like that, so let's get going. So with this first test, we're going to run IDA64 for 10 minutes with the side panel off to see how well the Cryorig C7 does, and then we'll do it again with the side panel on. But let's come back in 10 minutes. Okay, now that we have the results of that one, let's put on the side panel and test it for test number two, which is the Cryrig C7 with the side panel on. Okay, now that we have test two's results, let me swap out the CPU coolers for the Noctua one, and we'll start test three and four then. So just so you guys know, as far as consistency with testing, I cleaned off this CPU with a paper towel with rubbing alcohol on it, and then I reapplied the exact same thermal paste that I used with the Cryrig C7. So now we're going to start test 3, which is the Noctua CPU cooler with the side panel off. And the final test is test 4, which is the Noctua cooler with the side panel on. And here are the results. So pretty much the Cryrig C7 and the Noctua NHL9i um, cooler perform almost exactly the same. There's only like degrees differences between the two, um, both with the side panel on and the side panel off. And honestly, that could just be, that could come down to factors as simple as, oh, the room temperature changed and there's heat being dispersed in the room and stuff like that. So that one degree difference, I honestly wouldn't say, I'd say they're pretty much exactly the same. The one area where there was some disparity was how loud they ramped up to during um, load. You know, when I had Ida64 running, the Noctua cooler was actually much, much quieter than the Cryrig C7 cooler was. And that is honestly the reason why I'm going to keep that cooler in this rig over the C7. Because when rendering it with that C7 in there, it would ramp up and it would get really loud. 
and honestly that knocked to a cooler, even running Ida 64 for 10 minutes, you could still barely hear the fan. So that is definitely staying in there. Um, I'm probably going to try to see if I can get somewhat of an overclock with this, but I really doubt it. I mean, I mean, you can't expect much with a low-profile fan to try to get an overclock out of it. Um, I might get a couple um, megahertz or something out of it, but we'll see. Um, but I was really impressed with the Noctua and both the Cryorig C7. Both of them perform very well, and both of them work really well. Um, I will say the Noctua one by far is better if you're looking for something quiet, but the C7 still performs just as well. And honestly, the C7 looks way better. Um, but, you know, if looks aren't that important to you, then by far recommend the Noctua. I'll have both of these linked in the description below. And I hope you guys liked this video. I thought it was an interesting take on kind of seeing which one was better. And just as a quick point, the reason I didn't film um, the actual, like, you know, loudness of them or anything like that is because it's really hard to tell. It, that's always going to depend on your headphone quality, the recording quality, and all that kind of stuff. I just feel it's easier for me just to tell you what the differences were, um, and you just take my word for it, obviously. Obviously, you can try them yourselves and see it that way as well. But I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, you know, please let me know in the comments below. And this is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!